What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well the farm's been doing great uh, up to recently. We have our 63060s up here. We did swap out the one Zotac that we had problems with and we nabbed another EVGA 1060. So this has been doing great mining Ethereum. Uh, we did swap over our 470s and our 570 over to uh, Ergo. So we have 11 470s and one 570 mining Ergo right now. And then we have a 2080 as well as two of our 580s down here mining Ethereum. And finally this guy, which is uh, what we call our Pixie rig. Uh, and this one is just a basic HP motherboard um, with a power supply. Uh, we got solid state drive in there. And then we have two R9 380s right now. And uh, we're actually going to talk about this rig today. We're going to go ahead and jump into Hive OS and at a very basic level, show you guys how to set up the watchdog feature in there. So if your hash rate ever drops or your miner ever uh, fails, it will go ahead and one, try to restart the miner. And if that doesn't work, reboot the rig. One of the biggest things as a miner is keeping your rigs up and running 24 seven. So you hate to have a problem and then not know until the next time you actually checked on the rig. So let's go ahead and jump into Hive OS and we'll show you guys how to go ahead and use the watch guard feature. I almost forgot, how dare I? So here's the uh, Zotac, the 1060. A uh, bunch of you guys watched my four hour long overclock session, that live stream that we did. Uh, this is what used to be in the rig up there. Uh, so this one I did end up selling. It will be going out tomorrow um, to a person in Florida. And I did end up selling it for the almost the exact same amount I bought it for, $330. I bought it for $332 and that included shipping. So works out well. This will go out tomorrow and I will get rid of this crazy Zotac that we had so many issues with mining. Card works great uh, other than not being able to overclock it very well. On another note, we got this guy in. We won a new egg shuffle. Uh, and we did, this was the second new egg shuffle that we've won. So we got the uh, Gigabyte RTX 3060. This is the Vision White Edition. Um, they're actually an all white car. It's got an RGB on the side. Uh, so this will be cool to get into on a future video. It did come with an X570 uh, Gigabyte uh, motherboard as well. On that note, let's go ahead and finally jump over to Hive OS. Alrighty, miners. So this is going to be a short video. I wanted to give you a very high level tutorial on how to use the watch guard feature in Hive OS. As a miner, as I said before, it's extremely important that your rig is up 24 seven, that um, you don't need to keep an eye on it all the time. And, you know, there's a different, there's a few different options out there to alert you when problems happen, but it'd be great if it corrected itself automatically. So this is a, our, our Pixie rig is what we call it, the name that we gave it. Um, we have two cards in it right now, two R9 uh, 380s that are in here. We got our hands on these quite some time ago. To give you guys an idea, this entire build costs $500. Uh, we did do an entire build video on this. I'll put a link in the upper right-hand corner. And we're currently mining Ethereum Classic on it. So... I have gone ahead and removed my watchdog uh, configuration and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works. So the way to do this is uh, to come up in the upper right hand corner and click on the hash rate watchdog. Once you're there, uh, there's a few settings you're gonna to wanna to set. So uh, right here you can see enable hash rate monitoring. If it drops below the minimum, then the miner will attempt to restart. If the miner restart won't help, then the system reboots. So right away for miner restart after, I'm gonna change that to two minutes, reboot the rig after five minutes. Now there is another field here, reboot if LA uh, fall, fall is less than or equal to. So right here, you can go over top of the information bubble, reboot the rig if LA exceeds the set value longer than five minutes, or if LA uh, exceeds double value longer than one minute. The minimum value in the number of cores uh, recommended is 25. So we're gonna set that to 25. Now, you do have a few things you can do here. You can reboot if the GPU is offline. So that's always an option that you can do. Don't reboot if the internet is lost, um, which that's kind of gonna be a little difficult because it, it um, won't have internet access. The, I don't, I don't, for just getting started, don't worry about these settings. Don't worry about the WD with your power. 
uh, the power action you want to set to reboot and then watchdog you want to be set to miners uh, as well finally here set values for used miners so let's say your rig has like three or four different miners in it you want to come in here and set when you want the rig to do the jobs up above the tasks so in this situation here we'll bring up a calculator so we have 18 plus 17 ish give or take that's about 35 so granted hash rate fluctuates so i'm going to go ahead and say 33 so in here under team red miner you don't want to take your hash rate i need to take my uh bump that to a uh, mega hash so there we go click the arrow perfect so we're going to put 33 oh not 22 33 now if i had multiple other miners on this rig it would show them listed here but we don't we only have the one once you're finished here you'll go ahead and turn on the watchdog and hit apply it's simple it's easy it's going to go ahead and add that configuration so to review what this does it starts out here at the bottom when team red miner hits 33 mega hash or lower after two minutes the miner is going to go ahead and try to reboot if the miner doesn't recover and get you back above that it's then going to reboot the entire rig after five minutes simple easy and good to go i don't have to use this often but when i do i'm super thankful to log back into hive os and go oh cool the watchdog is doing its job and i don't have to bother with this at all Granted, you may want to look at after you've seen a few of these occur, adjusting some settings here and there. Um, is the hash rate a little too high, a little too low? Is my overclock not stable enough? All things to look at, but at least this gets your system back up and running. And mining, which as we've talked about as a miner, is the, one of the most important things of being able to continuously be mining. Well, guys, this was a short video on how to use the HiveOS Watchdog feature at a very barebone beginner level. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.